Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Masara, Dini, and Pastor Ronald, and uh, together with the leaders. So we are honored and privileged na nandito kami ngayon released by last series. We are happy with that. And so I just want to thank God to also thank my leader and uh, really nice family na nandito po ngayon. Thank you so much. And uh, as you know, the pastor na nandito, thank you so much din sa pagbibigay uh, ng opportunity na makarating po dito. Noong kong November, sabi ko sa mga leaders ng church, mag i po kami dito. Because there is happening in Mindanao. And uh, noong makapag i kami dito, lima po kami nagpunta, hindi po kami 12. Natagpuan po namin na ang promise lang nasa Mindanao. At you are blessed na at you are blessed na Natapakan ko ngayon ang promise niya. Amen. But you must have, as a reminder, you must have the right spirit. Amen. Kasi pagka natapakan mo yung promise niya, pagbakit ang spirit mo, mag-i-faith ka ng fear. Yeah. Yeah. Have the faith of Joshua and Caleb. Yeah. Yan po yung ating tanggapin ngayon. And uh, we are so blessed <laughs> na magalit po ng Panginoon dito sa lugar po ito. Pastor, yeah. please, Pastor. Yeah. No, no, thank you so much po. And uh, my wife. Good morning po sa atin na. Uh, I'm po kami sa media and family at sa my kusaradini and sa nona. Sabra ko kami ng uh, nag-bless at ang buong mga naisasama po namin dito. Kaya na sinabi pa sa on, magkaroon lang pa yun ng white spirit kasi hindi po lahat na pumupunta dito. May tanong spirit. May pagbalik, di ba ang balita. Kaya po tayo yung natan po natin. At truly enough, si Lolo ay may gagawin na rin. The best is yet. Kaya po, excited po kami. Kaya po sa November 6, sa 16, nandito po rin. At pwede na po yung aming next batch na po yung tapo. Lagi po kami excited. Nagtatanong pa sila, kailan mo yung next year? Grabe talaga mga ating mga talaga sa pagpunta dito. Kasi po, talaga mga na eh. Naiba po yung mindset. Dito talaga opera yung mindset mo sa may marketing. Nakaharap na po kami ngayon. Dati yung ang pangarap namin, ano lang, uh, 2,000 square meter. Ngayon po, hectares. Nagpilipin po kami kayo ng 13,700 square meter. At nagpapakayo ko 13,700 square meter. Kaya nakihan na po namin ang pangarap po. Kasi po malayan po. And let us pray, let us pray. Dear God and Heavenly Father, thank you so for truly and privilege to be in your presence. Thank you, God, for loving us and to be human. Even though we are not worthy of it, Lord, you still love us. Even though we are not perfect. Even though we are on a journey in a process, God, you still love us. Thank you, God, for your unconditional and love. And thank you for the strength that we have. Lord, we are gathering together here to reveal your glory in our lives. And we are so excited for more. Amen. And Father, thank you for the lives of Pastor Nolan, Pastor Latini, na hindi po sila naging maramot para ishare ito sa amin. Amen. And we are praying also sa National 12 Amen. leaders na dito, dito sa Philippines. Lord, bless them. Also, Pastor Cesar Castellanos, Pastor Aglado, bless them. Amen. Lord, mag-pour out sa amin ang blessing, mag-pour out sa amin ang anointing, mag-pour out sa amin ang power and authority, O oh God, to advance your kingdom here on earth. Father, as we receive your word, Holy Spirit, convict us. Amen. Holy Spirit, change us. Amen. Moses says that Holy Spirit, use us for your glory. Amen. Father, you with you, O oh God, because without you, we are nothing. But with you, we can do everything. Amen. Father, thank you so much. Change us. Enable your heart coming to receive your word of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Malakas ka. Hallelujah. So, thank you. So, we need to be thankful always to God. 
So mapahalamin po natin yung pagpapasalamat lagi sa Panginoon. At excited ako every time na nandito ako sa butuan. Sabi ni KR sa akin, Pastor, ano ba po yung pwede niyong masabi bukod doon sa information sa inyo? Sabi ko, my favorite place is butuan. <laughs> And the church I look up right now in the Philippines is Butuan, New Generation. No, kasi meron pong something great, something big na nandito Amen. ngayon. At kaya po ko laging pumunta rito, gusto kong makasama yung mga tao, yung mga anak ng Diyos na nagkikiwala ng lubusan sa Diyos. Amen. At may resulta sa kanilang buhay. Amen. So, we are created in the image and likeness of God. Bakit hindi ka excited? Yeah. So, that is our original design. We are created in the image and likeness of God. So, itong, itong bagay na dapat mag-sinking ito sa atin. No? Dapat hindi itong parable sa atin. Dapat wala tayong way dito. Dapat may revelation to sa atin. And, uh, gusto kong i-share niyo God's intention. God's intention. So when we talk about God's intention, God is intentional, of course. He is not accidental, and even He is not seasonal. He is intentional. Hello? The greatest calling that we have in our life, we need to understand these things. Because God is an intentional God, and God is a person we are created in His image and likeness. God's intention for each and every one of us is not other than relationship. You are called by God for a relationship. Come on. Amen. Hindi mo lahat na nasa church may relationship ni Lord. Hello. Hindi mo po rin magbabasa ka ng Bible, nagpipray ka, anak na ni Lord. So, we need to understand that God is a person and He wants relationship. Ayaw niya ng religion. Galit na galit si Jesus sa religion. Kung gusto mong umalis, Jesus, o kung perform ng miracle, lagyan mo ng pareseyo. Lagyan mo ng istriba. Kaya pag ang church may pareseyo at may istriba, hindi yan maglalago. Walang hinakulo. Come on! So, ito yung dapat uh, makunawa natin mabuti. Kaya nga sabi ng Romans, chapter 12, no, verse 2, ang ganda nitong sinabi ng verse na to, even though we are created in the image and likeness of God, sabi ng verse 2, ako dito, ako as a Paul, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is is His good, blessing, and perfect way. Amen. Why is it God, God's Word is available to us para magbago tayo ng isipan natin and nilalang tayo sa wakis at larawan ng Diyos. So bakit ngayon sinasabi magbago ka ng isip? So, we need to understand three things. First is the creation. Second is the deterioration and third is the restoration. So yun po yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon from, from, from Genesis to Revelation ang intention ng Diyos relationship. God's intention is relationship. Yan po yung bagay na dapat maging malinaw sa bawat isa sa atin. We are created in His image and likeness and the ultimate intention of creation is to show God's goodness to all mankind. Hindi nag-intention ng Diyos na pangit sa'yo, sa ninuno mo, sa lahi mo, hindi nag-intention ng Diyos na pangit kasi yung sa Diyos walang pangit. Kinakabi mo, buti na lang nasa Diyos ka na yun, kaya ang ganda mo. Kung mo wala sa Diyos, huwag pangit sila. Buti na lang nandito ka, ang presensya ng Diyos ang nakakaganda. 
Amen. So kaya maganda at pogi tayo ngayon ang isa. The sick care that you have. But it is the presence of God. Amen. It is the presence of God. So, yun yung bagay na dapat mainin niya. Why you have the presence of God? Because you have a relationship with God. Amen. It is not what you know. It is not what you feel. But it is your relationship to God. Come on. Yeah. So let's let let's go to the creation. The creation, ang, ang intention ng Diyos, ang ganda-ganda. At ang intention ng Diyos, why He created human being, Adam and Eve, human, um, the, the mankind, He wants a relationship. And I, I just want to tell you that you are not just a, you are not by God's invention, you are not mortal. You are immortal because you are a spirit. You are a spirit being. Amen. 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 And I just want to share this to you for you to, to, to love the Lord all the more. Amen. To remove all the brides that we yeah. have. Sometimes, kapag hindi natin ito naiintindihan, nakala natin yung utak lang natin, yung damdami lang natin, yung katawalan natin, yung susundin po. Dapat susundin natin si Lord. Amen. You are a spiritual being. Amen. Spirit po ka. Kahit may nakahawa ka siya. So everything starts, everything begins in the Spirit. So there is a spiritual world before the physical world. Yes. So the two mundo ginagalawan natin. Is a spiritual world and there is a physical world. So I just want you to understand this things. How God created you. You are the best. Amen. You are the best. Amen. You are the best. Amen. Kahit hindi mo naiisip na the best ka. Kahit hindi mo marunod ako the best. Uh-huh. God's intention for you is the best. Amen. And He is not accidental. He is not seasonal. He is intentional. Amen. So God's intention for us is for our own good. But the problem is the creation, we don't understand these things. So in, in the book of Psalms chapter 8 or chapter 8 verse 4 and 5 This is how God created human beings We are created in the image and likeness of God and God created us as human being a spiritual being So a spiritual being Why would you bother with your pony, mortal man, or care about human beings. Pure is little, weak, nothing. That's the meaning of the pony. And then verse 5. Yet what honor you have given to men, created only a little lower than Elohim. Sa ibang translation, angels. Sa ibang translation, gods. We are created a little lower than God. It is who we are. Amen. It is who we are. Amen. You are created in the image and likeness of God, Amen. little lower than the head. Crown Him with glory and magnificence. Amen. It is who you are. Amen. Just receive your spirit. Do not, do not operate in your intellect. Kasi sa isipan mo, baka nasa isip mo, galing ka sa kawayan. <laughs> Lumabas yung tao, yung lalaki hubad, yung babae hubad, si malakas at si magunta. Baka kala natin ganun pa rin yun. Hindi totoo yun. Kung totoo yun, sana tawag sa amin doon, mas parang labong. <laughs> yung tao ngayon ganun, sana labong ka. <laughs> and according to the studies 
Human being is the highest form of animal. Amen. Look at your neighbor. Look at your neighbor. We are not like that. We are not, even though it is highest form, animal position. We are not an animal. We are created being by God. Assembly. 
at the utmost height of the sun of the Mount Sakon. Verse 14. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds. I will make myself like the most high. Imagine mo, ayaw lang niya mag-worship. Gusto na niya sa will worship. Lahat na nagmamalfunction na lalas ang value. But if you function according to your design, hallelujah, you can perform. But if you fail to function, malalas ang value. So imagine mo, nag-rebete siya, meron siyang five eyes, lang sabi niya, ay, 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 ay. Five eyes. So it is not all about you. But if, if you live according to you, you will become like him. So to so my intent of Pabutito, in the spiritual realm, there are three spirits. In the spiritual realms, there are three spirits. First, the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. Second, the human spirit, deposited by God in order for us to live the very breath of God. Amen. When God created a human being, who was an anabo, ginawa niyang tao, yung Simula limang araw, he commanded everything. But nung ika six day, kumuha siya ng lupa, ng alabok, then pinormahan niyang tao. It is not commanded, the, God did not commanded the soil na magkaroon ng tao. Meron siyang special touch. Sabi mo sa tabi, you are so special. With a touch. Not just with the axe, with the breath. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. And then he did it. Dila na yung tao, breathless siya, lifeless siya, but the good thing is the very breath of God. The pneuma. What is the pneuma? The pneuma is the breath, the air, the life. Amen. Ginawa niya. Ginawa niya. May dugo, may katawan, May buho, may uga, pero walang life. And God bring into His nostrils the breath of life. And the heart became living me. Come on? Sino yung naiintindihan dito ng kasasabay? Nasa creation ka lang tayo. Gusto rin ito kaabutin tayo dito. Pero ano, nasa inyo lang po ako ng kamay. O kaya pagumugin ako dito. Ha 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 ha. Gusto ko lang mabuhin po natin dito na mag-operate tayo according to God's intention. So, it, ito, kung bakit ko sinabi ko mga bagay nito, meron intention ng Diyos to talk to Him, to walk with Him, to work with Him. Ganon katindi yung built-in design mo. Ganon katindi ang intention ng Diyos why God created us. Pero tinitibagin natin yung sarili natin. Alam niyo po yung tricycle namin sinasakyan? service namin dito, simula po nung nag-rally hanggang ngayon. Pag na, may pamasahe ko yung pasora, dalang yung pinibigay ko sa kanya, sabi ko, atin ka, kailangan ko ng bodyguard, ako magsasalita doon. Kasi sabi niya, nahihiya kasi ako doon. Ayaw kong bumunta na nakahiya. Mayayang ako nung makita ako doon. <laughs> My point is this, kapag wala ka talaga, hindi mo nakikita kung anong design mo, gano'n lang ang uri ng buhay. But I do believe, one day, narito yan. Yeah. One day, narito yan. Papalagaan ko kay Glenn, kasi kagalawan ni Glenn, magkakasun doon sila ni Glenn. Siguro magandang hindi mag-basketball yung Glenn. Kaya mag-one and one na lang muna kayo. So, mga kapatid, gusto kong maintindihan yung nakakalimutan natin yung mga bagay na design nyo ng Diyos sa buhay natin. So, ito pong ika-ika big day, the world was created for you. You are not created for the world. Amen. The world created for you. Amen. Para bang ano, yung sing, abot mo ang mundo. <laughs> eh, langkat mo na maging smart ka bago mo na ng globe. 
Hindi ko alam kung ano pang patulog, pero tumulog. Kinoperahan, kinungan ng tadyan, ginawang babae. Tama po ba? So dito sa sinalo nito, yung babae, kaya si Adam tuwa-tuwa siya. Yes! Babae na tao ko sa kanya, tapos galing sa sakin. So ngayon, si Adam, diretso siya, gumagawa siya sa assignment niya kay Lord. Gumagawa siya doon sa garden, nagpapanit siya ng garden. Pero si Eve, meron din siyang spirit, galing siya kay Eida, pero hindi galing siya sa soy. Yung spirit ni Eve, before the fall, connected sa spirit ni Eida. And then yung spirit ni Eida na yun, connected sa spirit ni God. They are one spirit! They are one in the Spirit. Pero kaya lang, yung kong Psalms, yung fallen angel, it is in the spiritual realm, the evil spirit. Binagsak siya. Tataka nga ako, bakit hindi sa Mars? Tataka ko, bakit sa Earth? Bakit sa Earth? Bakit sa Earth? Nandun siya sa ano, nandun siya sa puno ng pagkakilala ng mabuti masama. Ang ganda-ganda ng ide, lahat ay maganda, pero nung ipagsak doon yung ide, kumakit na. Sabi mo sa tabi mo, kumakit na. Yung puno pa lang, ang puno. Hindi pa yung garden, ang puno lang. Tama ko ba ba? Sama. What power is ang demonyo? I just want to tell you, hindi grabe si Satanas. Hindi mo lang kalala si Lord. Amen! Kaya ano ko mga kapit ng mga kasyano na grabe si Satanas talagang hindi nang pumigil. Ano ko ano? Are you ready? Mas maiti si Lord is the Satanas. Because we buy in into his evil idea. Tiro mo yung mata ko yung mga maraming evil idea na tayo. In entertain. What is the meaning of entertain? Entertain. Diyan ang galing entertainment. You give attention, you give focus, and you give emotion into it. Hello? So gusto ko maintindi nyo, sa spiritual realm, nag-uusap-usap eh. Sabi, sa spirit, ikaw mo na na yun to ha, evil. Ngayon lang ito mga kita ng galibin natin. Example lang, example. Ito yung human spirit, at ito yung holy spirit. Evil spirit is influence. What is evil in the evil spirit? Idea. So, sa spirit, just to be not blind. Sa spirit, not even discernment. But if the spirit is blinded, hindi mo na siya mag discern. Sa spirit, just to be greedy, just to be greedy, sis. In the spirit. Kaya hindi lahat na nakatingin sa akin dito ngayon kaya sa tayo ng spirito. Yung iba ni isa't ang nakakalian natin mamaya. I don't know your spirit, but I am telling you, we must be one in the spirit. And it must be the spirit of God, the evil spirit. Human spirit. It's very crucial. Because this is sometimes Affected the mind. Affected the emotion. Kaya maraming mga katisyano, pag tinuyo ay mga church. Dahil mga katisyano, grabe ko mag-isip negative. So, the spirit, in the spiritual realm, kaya nga sabi ng Jetta lang, Mesikiel 36, verse 1-6. Sabi niya doon, ang ganda nung sinabi niya eh. No, kaya natin yung glass anak dyan sa ano. Sabi na, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit. Hallelujah! Yung urap na spirit, katanggal na yung balagyan ng new spirit. From the creation of the point of mind, the human spirit was 
restaurant and fruitful and productive. So, Sabi the Lord, I will give you a new heart. And, and Sabi niya, and give you a heart of flesh. Then verse 37, and I will put my spirit. Spirit. Notice the, the, the capital letter S in the spirit. It signifies name. It signifies the person of God. So Sabi niya, I will give you, I will put my spirit in you and move you to follow my decrees and be careful to get my loss. Hallelujah. So if you are born again, you are obedient. If you are born again, you are submissive. Ang totoong born again, ganito nangyayari. Ang sinusunod niya yung Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit ka mga ayon ha? Nagtingin niya yung mga mo. So you are the Holy Spirit ka na. So ito yung dapat influence niya, dapat close sila, dapat implement sila. Hindi ka dapat nag-i-interpain ang iba. Come on! Hindi ko dapat sa pinipigyan ng pagkakataon. It is your choice. It is your decision to guard your spirit. You are the only one who is responsible. But the problem is, if the, is, the evil spirit blinded you. <laughs> so, si Holy Spirit, gentle siya, even though powerful, gentle siya, he is a person. You can quench the Holy Spirit. Yeah. You can insult the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Because he is a person. Meron siya feelings. We need to be gentle. So, kapag ganito na, grabe yung nararamdaman ni Holy Spirit, nilalang po siya, mahal na mahal po siya. Ganun, bakit na sa iba na siya? Come on! If your spirit is contaminated by evil spirit, your faith, your faith is inactive. Your faith is inactive. Hindi mo go work ang iyong yung heart mo, yung mind mo, and then yung will mo masusunod hindi God's will. Hello? Amen. So, yung pinag ngayon. Amen. So, ang nangyayari sa spiritual realm, ganit yung ginagawa niya kasi ang, ang evil, ang number one key niya, ang antun niya, even though it is cheap, but, the, but effective, deception. Ever so deceiving is spirit. Huwag po sa pain, hindi ako nag-i-deceive. Kung sa ito, sa ito man hindi ka na-deceive, ako pa kaya. Si ito, nakakasama na niya si Lord. Walking with God, talking with God, and working with God. Kaya nang dumating po yung pagkakataon na yung evil spirit inalaw itong babae, nung mangyari sa kanya yan, yung Holy Spirit, nag-i-grip na yan, nakukwens na yan. <laughs> And then, pagka malala, yung blinded natin, yung, yung, yung pagiging sarado natin, pwede natin siya mag-son. Because he is a person. Nabasa niyo mo ba yan sa Bible? So, ito po, hindi po nung sa relationship. Kaya hindi po siya nagpuproduce. Ang demonyo, hindi po yung nagpumultiply. Nag-i-influence na po siya. Bakit? Ang demonyo, hindi siya marunong sa relasyon. Wala siya, hindi siya respector of your will. He uses his Deception, and then the next level, if you are deceived, you will be manipulated. Yeah. So if you are manipulated by the enemy, even though nagbabasa ka ng Bible, nag-church ka, bakit ko lang nag-iyak ka sa'yo? Tapos ang deceived mo kasi no? Lord, yung api ko pinahirapan mo kami. Hindi... Tama po ba mga sama? Yeah. Hindi mo na kalala ng si Lord. Tama po ba mga sama? Yeah. Si Lord mapagmahal. So, ang maganda ngayon, yung Holy Spirit tayo, mahal na mahal tayo ng Holy Spirit, pagkawa oh, siya ng paraan. Yeah. Ikaw mong big pa rin siya. Yeah. Pero ito na mag-re-resist. Mm. Kaya nang bago mo siya pa-resist, magsasapit ka muna sa Kanya. Yeah. You don't need to be perfect. Yeah. We are in the process. Yeah. And we are on a promise. Yeah. When you Holy Spirit. 
I submit you. Yes. Holy Spirit, I surrender. So, if you submit yourself to God, you can resist the devil. Amen. So, if you are with the Holy Spirit, if you are with the Holy Spirit, your faith is activated. Wow. Amen. Because for God, nothing is possible. Amen. To those also who believe, and without the evil influence in his life, hindi kaya lang marami, kundi pa lang sa kanya. Kung bakit hindi mag-work si Lord, submissive ka ba talaga? Obedient ka ba talaga? O baka, kristyano ka lang na may alam. So, ito po nangyari, yung sumunod po dito, doon sa spiritual realm, kaya po nagkaroon ng deterioration. Na-deteriorate lahat ng bagay na magandang ginawa ng Diyos, pinapangit ng tao, hindi si Satanas. Hindi si Satanas. Sino? Tao. Si Satanas, powerless siya. Kaya naman naman siya ng power, kasi tayo powerful. Tandaan niyo mabuti, yung mind natin, yung heart natin, yung will natin, sometimes ginagamit siya ng enemy against God. It is not enough that you are informed. It is not enough that you feel something. The most important thing is you are obedient. Amen. You can be obedient only if you are submissive to God. James 4, 7, submit yourself then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come on, somebody. Amen. And if you want to, to, to be successful in your life, see to it in your spiritual realm. Are you submissive? Are you obedient? Hindi ko ba i-entertain yung mga evil idea nito? So kaya mga kasama, babantayan natin mabuti sa spiritual realm. Doon na mag-discern. Doon na mag-re-resist. And doon na doon na rin mag-re-resist. Hindi lahat ng tumatangok, sumusunod. Amen. <laughs> Hindi po kayo okay, pumasok ka sa garahe, kotse ka na. <laughs> So ganun din, hindi pumunta, hindi ba hindi pumunta ka sa church, switch ka na na. Tinom na mga tabi, kung magpatagal na pumapasok yan ha. Pero walang nangyayari. No, walang nangyayari. So let, let's go to the atmosphere of soul. Tapos na tayo sa spirit, sa atmosphere of soul naman tayo. Creation. Hindi ko natatapos yung pasawa, nabihin ko na lang. Sa atmosphere of soul, the intellect or mind, the heart, emotion, passion, na dito po yan, feelings, sa heart, and then the will. The will. If your spirit is contaminated by the evil spirit, your mind will become contaminated also. Hello? Mag-aaral na, buhusayan mo, gagalingan mo. Kahit ilang seminaryo ang puntahan mo, kaya toto ako yung Mr. Nonon, victim ako mo. Sa seminary pinagaling na namin, conservative pa yun. Conservative seminary. Manila, Bible seminary. Conservative yun. When the Bible is fake, we speak. When the Bible is silent, we are silent. Grabe. Galing namin. Mag-aral. Pero ulang sa buhay. Ulang sa buhay. So, tanitigan niyo mabuti. Kapag ka, ikaw yung spirit natin kung taminitin, yung mind natin po tamanita. Yung wisdom natin, hindi wisdom that comes from the Lord. But wisdom that comes from the Word. Kaya maraming religion nagpapagkabangga. Kaya ang body of Christ, ang iwa ay wala, it is because of human wisdom. The wisdom of the Word. But if it is the Spirit, we need to be united. So, kung natin hindi na dyan yung utak, hindi po ay may alam na tama. At hindi lahat ng alam mong tama ay tama. Pag tunahan mo rin isa ng isip mo, kamasyad na pinakang galing. Kaya nagigilin niya sa blessing, at hindi mo mag-isip. You are logical people. Lahat ay lang ay process, ay lang ang minister eh. So kaya walang may rakel sa tindi ng utak mo. So may kinihan. Lahat kailan ang sum, tandaan nyo, your, the thoughts of God is not our thoughts. Yeah. So, pakitingin mo nga natin yung James chapter 3. James chapter 3. Oh, 
that the, the wisdom that comes from heaven. Mayroon ko tayo dyan pag ipakaglas mo para hindi na mo magayon ha? So, who is wise and understanding among you? Let them show it by their good life. Good life. Yung palang mga matatalino, yung mga mahukusay, maayos ang buhay. Kaya walang mahalaga ang mga matalino ka na hindi maayos ang buhay mo. Pag sabi, good life. By things that in humility that comes from wisdom. Verse 14. But if you harbor bitter envy and selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Always remember that the truth shall set us free. Amen. Kaya po, ang napakay po natin ang truth. And mostly, mas mostly, kailangan din ang love. Truth and love must be balanced. Because truth without love is brutality. But love without truth is hypocrisy. Hello? So, tingnan niyong mabuti, no? But, if you have a bitter envy, selfish ambition in your heart, do not boast about it or deny the truth. Such wisdom does not come from, the, from heaven, come down from heaven, but it is earthly and spiritual demonic. So, kahit ako ang tama, ang talitalino ko, hindi ko wala ng igit yun. Come on. Amen. So, hindi po hindi, pag manaisip mo na, mararamdaman mo na. Hindi lahat ng naisip mong tama ay tama. At hindi lahat ng naramdaman mong tama ay tama. So, gusto kong intindihin yung mabuti na hindi po hindi, alam mong mali ay mali. At hindi rin naman po hindi nararamdaman mong mali ay mali. So, kailangan doon tayo sa truth. And the truth must have love. Unity. So, sumunod na verse 3 na po yung verse 16. So, kaya dapat talaga yung wisdom na galing, yung wisdom na galing sa Panginoon. Then sabi niya, For you will have envy and selfish ambition where you find disorder and every evil practice. Yes! Alam mo ang Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, memorize mo to. Pero hindi po kami alam na galami. Si Santa Mas na, pag sumubok, worthy lord eh. Hindi naman yung matabi ko. Pag pinalang, nandito ako ngayon. Sino ka nangyong tindihan, mga kapatid? So, verse 17, kayo yung verse 17. But wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure. Then, peace love it. Considerate. Submissive. Full of mercy. Good fruit. Impartial and Always go back to the Spirit of God. And this is the wisdom that comes from above. So kaya mga kasama, nagkakaroon ng problema sa church dahil sa mga matatalino. Pero hindi masunurin sa Diyos. Hindi po kayo matalino ko masunurin ka na. Come on. Kasi hindi na yung kanyang hindi yan. Dito naman tayo sa sa damdamin. Si Adam, na kasamang lumangan si Lord. Kasamang gumagawa si Lord. Nakakausap si Lord. Pero yung damdami, ibang mahawa ka si Eva. Lord, yung emosyon. Grabe, ganda talaga niya. Lord, mas pati hindi talaga siya sa'yo. <laughs> Ikaw, iba magtahawa ko. Pero siya, ito talaga naman ang damang kung magtahawa ko siya. Come on. Kaya nang utoksuhin siya ni Eva. Nag-open siya sa emosyon, hindi na sa vision. Hindi na sa purpose, kundi sa emosyon. Sabi ni Eva sa kanya, oh, eto, salubo mo ko. Sabi niya, sabi ni Adan, kung di na lang ni Eva, ba't mo ang ginawa mo yan? Magalit siya yung si Lord. Sabi ni Eva, ah, sabi ni Eva kay Adan, oh, hati mo, doon ang hiwi yan, ayaw mo ka. Hindi na magalit si Lord, di ba sabi ni Lord? Kasi gusto mo magalit, ako o si Lord? Life is a choice! Ang kasalanan hindi siya nagbaya, lagi overnight! 
Bina proses yan. So, naniniwala ko na makita niya ganyan yun, hindi yun, uy, ang tip-tip, hindi ko talaga, malaman mo, hindi ganun. Alam ba ni Adan ang tama at gatay? Alam ba niya kung ano ang sa Diyos na tayo? But the problem is, no emotion. Kaya kung na ina, tutup. Eh, bali na. You and me are based on one. Lord, I hope you understand. <laughs> Because ang tao, hindi na siya ano eh, hindi na siya sensitive kung ano yung intensyon ng Diyos. So, doon po nangyayari ang mga bagay nito. Kaya, kapag ka po ganoon, yung will niya, ang, this is the free will. Freedom to choose and power to decide. Free will is free will na dahil hindi mo yung ginagamit. That is our power. Power to choose and power to decide. Always remember that God is a respecter of your will. Amen. Basta binusto mo, i-respect ang ilor. Amen. Ito naman ang pinawag. Basta inilawan mo. Walang na mangyayari dyan. So tandaan nyo, ang gagamitin niya sa atanas, yung will mo, against the will of God. May maganda sinasabi si Lord, may mga bagay na ginagawa. Pero ang problema, wala na yung hindi mo sila yung spirit natin sa Lord. Kaya yung faith natin, yung action natin, yung active na. So mga siya mga mga patid po na wako, huwag tayo maging religyoso. Dapat maging mga Diyos po tayo. Hindi po tayo nasasibahan tayo, okay na okay na tayo. Kaya po dapat i-test natin lagi yung spirit natin. Kung connected pa ba ito sa leader natin, sa pastor natin, sa vision ni Lord. Tandaan nyo po, it is not all about me. It is not all about our church. But it's all about God. Amen. It's all about God. Tandaan niyo po ang buhay niyo, ang katumbas niya ng mundo. Ang sabi na salita ng Diyos, makamtan mo man ang lahat ng kayamanan ng muslim mundo ito at ang kayang kapangyarihan. At mapahamak naman ang iyong kalaw, wala kang may papalit dito. So it means to say that the world was created for us. We need to be in the intention of God. Doon sa intention ng Diyos mangyari sa buhay ng bawat isa sa atin. Thank you so much. I just want to help you right now. Meron pong mga Christian, tatlong klaseng Christian. Meron karnal Christian, led by His flesh. Hindi mga gagalaw ang Espiritu sa atin. And then meron din tinatawag na soulless Christian. What is soulless Christian? Led by His soul. Tatay po, hindi po kayo umiiyak sa worship na bebes. Amen. Emotion yan. At hindi po kayo tama sa Diyos na. Alam niyo, ang soulless Christian, may tama siya, may nararamdaman siya, pero ang galawa niya, hindi kalooban ng Diyos, kundi kalooban ng sarili niya. His will, that in His life, not God's will, that in His life. So kaya mga patid, mga masapa, I just want to pray for you right now, today. Maybe in your spirit, meron lang yung entertain, na alam ang ibig, hindi ka lang malang kagod yan. Hindi po, hindi na huhuli, tama. At ikaw lang nakakaalam yan. Sa pamamagitan ng Espiritu Santo, kaya nang mahusap sa sayo mo yan. Ang intensyon ko ngayon, pag-uway ka, sa kanyang sa pamamuna ng Espiritu Santo. That Christian is Spirit-led Christian. Spirit-led Christian. Alam niyo po, the Holy Spirit testifies with our Spirit that we are children of God. You will become children of God because of the testimony of the Holy Spirit. It is not what we know, it is not what we feel, it is not what we do, but it is the will of God in our life. So let us surrender right now before the Lord. Tandaan niyo po, yung deterioration is just a byproduct of your separation. Your deterioration is just a byproduct of separation. Separation means death. 
But thank you to God, there is a restoration. The restoration. Amen. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Amen. The old has gone and the new has come. If you want to experience that in your life, well, I'm feeling that when it comes to relationship, it is your choice, it is your decision. Hindi ako pwede pa-pekuhan dahil sa asawa ko. Ang relationship is personal. Hindi nakaulugan na pakit ang sitwasyon magiging pakit ka na rin. Life is a choice. Life is what we make it. But you need to see it that you are founded the Word of God and allow God's revelation na mabuksan sa ating pagkakas. Kaya ang prayer mo sa bawat isa atin, kung ang tumuyo tayo, let's acknowledge the presence of God. Holy Spirit, we come to you in all the day. Thank you God for the word. Thank you God for your presence. Lord, kung wala mong kwenta ang buhay natin, we are nothing, Lord. But God, thank you. And today, God, help us, Lord, to open it according to your intention. Lord. Help us to live according to your intention. And Lord, in the name of Jesus, in our spirit, Lord, reveal to us right now yung mga bagay na evil idea, mga suggestions of the enemy. Lord, huwag kami magpanit ma-identify natin itong network. And God, we surrender it to you. We submit to you, Lord. Amen. We submit to you. And in the name of Jesus, by this plan, yes. through the power of the Holy Spirit, we resist the devil in our lives. We resist the devil in our family. We resist the devil in our finances. God, thank you for this restoration of Makapamuhay kami, Panginoon, kung ano yung intention mo sa buhay namin. Amen. At mahalin ka rin namin intention rin. Regardless kung ano yung nararamdaman namin, regardless kung anong sitwasyon namin, hindi na po ito mahalaga. Ang mahalaga po, Panginoon, yung magandang intention mo sa buhay namin. We are born for success and not for failure. We receive that in our spirit. We are with you, God. Lord, help us to go back to you, Lord. So, Lord, i-renew mo rin, Lord, hindi lang ang aming spirit, i-renew mo rin ang aming mind. Lord, may mga process, mga pinaprocess kami sa buhay namin to the point, kung saan kayo, nagdadawag na kami sa'yo. Lord, i-renew mo rin yung aming heart. And Lord, i-renew mo rin yung aming will. Not our will be done, Lord, but your will be done. Always. Amen. In our life, Lord, we come to you. Lord, may matitig ang gagawin sa buhay namin. So, Father, we praise you. We honor you. Sentuhan mo po ang mga bagay na nalisip namin ngayon. At God, makapamuhay kami sa ayong sa intensyon mo sa buhay namin. At Lord, kapag po kami nasa presensya mo, no more hard labor, but welcome, pay more in our life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Sa wala po kami na hihirapan. Sawa na rin po kami yung pinahihirapan. Kailangan po paghirapan namin ng mga bagay para magkaroon kami ka. Lord, we are so sorry. Because we are prideful. Today, God, we submit to you. And we surrender to your will. Amen. And we are so excited, God. You pay for a man now. Pay for a man, pay for. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.